Hey guys, and welcome back to another satisfactory video. So, uh, this is episode three. Uh, last time we left off, we had just gotten our first storage unit working. So, and that's this one right here. And look, we have over 400 iron plates available now. Um, after uh, I stopped the stream last night, I set up a few other things. I also uh, went around uh, collecting up a boatload of leaves and wood for our biomass generator. So, you know, all the, the kind of grindy type uh, stuff that, you know, doesn't do all that well on, on camera. I also set up a couple extra... Uh, miners and I did pull out a second uh, copper out to here but I haven't been able to turn it on because when I turned it on uh, I blew the grid so that means that we currently don't have enough power available to us and when we look we can see as the different um, uh, production modules turn on and off, because they do, they fluctuate a little bit, um, we are uh, consuming generally between uh, 30 and 35, uh, you know, 35.1 at a max and 26.3 uh, at a minimum uh, as it runs through its cycle. And uh, what happened was when I turned on that other one, you, you see our max consumption is at 40 here, so if everything turns on at the same time, we're at 40. Well, everything did turn on at the same time, plus the other one that I've got uh, just behind us over here, and it tripped the grid. So, what that means is we now need to start making extra biomass generators. Now, it's important to note, we want to go to coal as soon as possible. A biomass generator is going to require us to manually feed into the biomass generator. We don't want that. We want everything to be automated, always. So when I look at when I look at what we can build right now, we can build a hub. We can build our smelters and con, uh, constructors. We can't build a biomass generator yet. And if you guys remember correctly, that is actually um, a benefit of the milestone that uh, we're about to achieve. So, and this is the benefit of, uh, of storage. So I need 100 of those plates, so I'll take a stack here. I'll actually throw that back in so I'm not overburdening myself. We need 100 uh, wire. We've actually got 100 wire on us right now. We need 50 concrete and we've at least oh actually we've got 357 on us i must have taken that uh out last night i'll take this too um i will keep uh grabbing things until we have like one stack essentially now the only thing that we don't have yet is our iron rod uh but what we can do and that's what these are for. I'm going to make an iron rod uh, plant out of that, and then I'm going to make a screw plant out of that, but I can't do it because I don't have the uh, uh, electrical pack capacity right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab a few of these just as they're coming in, uh, make it easier for myself. We need a hundred iron rods. We've got 84 already, so it's it's not too bad. Um, it's a bit of a pain, to be honest. We got, we got 20 there. Let's just see how many we can make out of that. I think that'll give us a hundred. So we go to iron rod. Yeah, we'll just get a hundred out of that. Okay. Perfect. So now we're going to control and left click. That gives us everything. We are going to upgrade the hub. Now we're going to take a look. 
And we have a creature standing on top of the hub. <laughs> you have unlocked building space elevator, building biomass burner, cart biomass. Motivational message. Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Additional knowledge. The hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. Note, future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and as such initiating project assembly. Good luck. So we are going to build a space elevator, although it's not really my biggest priority at the moment. The first thing that we need to do is build a biomass generator. Uh, because that's going to allow us the electricity that we need in order to get all of the rest of this stuff automated because I do not like making this stuff by hand. So we've got everything except we need uh, 15 iron rods and we've only got four. And I don't think, yeah, we don't have any um, ingots right now. You know what though? we got copper ore on us. Looks like we don't have iron ore on us. And we don't have it in there either. So we're going to have to steal some more from here. I can also take it off of the belt. Uh, just So as soon as we make this biomass generator, I think the first thing I'm going to do is start making rods because that will allow me to make more biomass generators. So I'm going to put them right here for now. I'm just going to try and line them up as best I can. Remember, everything that's here is temporary. So we've got... Okay, I'm going to take this off of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set up a little bit of future-proofing. So I'm actually going to set some power poles in line here so that we don't overload any of our power poles. We're done with our iron rods now. Um, and then we'll do that. And then I can't remember, do I have any on me? No, I got of course I don't. What I'm going to do, actually, yeah, I'm going to put uh, a stack of wood in this one. I think that will last longer. So, there we go. We'll turn that on. So, this is going to take 18 wood per minute. Um, and it's going to give me 30 megawatts. Whereas, oh, and we went off. Why did we go off? That's really weird. All of a sudden, my production jumped. My consumption. That's weird. Try this again. See what happened. All right. That is a bit of a conundrum. Let me just take this off. That's going to get rid of everything that's down there. And this is what I was saying about um, when your grid goes down, it, it is a real, real problem. Capacity is only 30 megawatts. Why is capacity only 30 megawatts? Oh! We ran out of fuel. Wow, we ran out of fuel there fast. So that's another thing that we're going to have to do is uh, all right, is uh, get to those biomass uh, generators pre uh, or uh, converters pretty quick. All right, let's put that back on. So and. And again, I think I've said this before, but you'll you'll notice this a lot. 
you'll need to do one thing, but in order to do that one thing, you're going to find that you need to do about 17 other things. It's just, it happens all the time. Okay, so we've got 70 megawatts of capacity right now. So the next thing that we want to quickly take a look at is, I just want to look at the biomass. Yeah, okay, so we do have biomass available to us now. So let's take a look at that, and I'll show you what uh, this is going to do. And let's take all of that. I'll convert this one by hand. I think it's reasonably quick to convert by hand. So wood is going to turn into 20 biomass. And really all I want to do right now is I want to get three stacks uh, of biomass so that I can replace what's in our biomass generators right now with, uh, with this. Because like I said, this is far more efficient. So, if I look, I'm using 80 leaves per minute, okay? If I switch that out, I'm only using 6.7 biomass per minute now. So, this is going to last a lot longer for me and generate a lot more electricity for me. Now, I'm very likely going to have to make, let me see, if, I don't think I've got the, the iron rods to make uh, another one right now. But let's make the rest of this biomass here. And then um, we probably want to make one or two more biomass generators, and then we're going to have to get the iron rods, the screws, and the copper cables uh, all set up. Now this should be faster, yeah. For 10 leaves, we get 5 biomass, and we drop from 80 leaves per minute burnt to 6 biomass per minute. So for the cost of... Um, yeah, the conversion would have been down to 8. So 8 to 6.2 is, uh, what's that, a 30-odd percent uh, increase in efficiency? So not too bad. So this will make this all go a lot uh, further for us, which is quite important, honestly. As soon as I fill up my inventory, I'll just drop it all in the, um, in the chest beside us here. And then we're going to head out, and I think we're going to get the iron rods building as quickly as we can, because we're going to need a lot more iron rods. Okay, so let's put all that in and that. Now let's look at what we need to do to make another constructor. We need another reinforced iron plate. So let's make, and that's another thing we're going to have to start making uh, pretty quick is a reinforced iron plate. And we are missing screws to do that. And for screws, we need rods, because of course we do. <laughs> this is why you need to stockpile. Okay, so I need to go steal a bunch more. See how many iron plates. I got a lot of iron plates, so turn this all into iron rods. And then I think I needed 12 screws, if I remember correctly. I'm going to go to 24 just to make sure. There we go. 
So if I look now. Oh, I still need the iron plate. Okay. So let's go over. And I'm going to put the output, the storage container, uh, right here. And take the rods. Okay, so make sure I get it turned the right way. And I've said it before a couple of times, but I'm going to say it again. This is temporary, so it doesn't matter all that much because very soon I'm going to want to start putting foundations down in the gap down there. So uh, we need power over here. I did power pole. Uh -huh. There we go. And again, I'm going to want to put the power poles. Oh, I can't. I need more wire because, of course, I do. There we go. So that is going to start. Yeah, that's going to start drilling immediately. And then I'm um, just. Uh, or here. Yeah. I always like getting up a little bit higher so that I can see where I'm putting things. And now we need a smelter first. And <laughs> we need iron rods and copper wire. I guess we used all our copper wire. Wow. Which means we need Take more of these. I will be so glad when we get the uh, all of the automation set up. Oh, and we want the copper wire too. But it is really nice just to be able to go over here and grab a whole stack of copper wire. And let's make iron rods. Hopefully that's enough. Okay, we need five for the smelter. And we've got our constructor. So we are good. So we're going to put it right there. On the smelter. Right there. Okay, that might be too far out. And I'll put the constructor right in front of it. Hmm, not getting the green line. Do that, just see if I can, uh, okay, yeah, I think that'll work. So, okay. That's working. Now I gotta tell that that I need iron ingots. And we are going to power that. Oh, and I think we can make more now. Yes, good there. But you know what that means, actually. That means I have to take it off of here because I'm overloaded. And we're going to put it there, and then that'll go to there, and that'll go to there. Now, here's the question. Will this go? Oh, good. A lot of times, um, if you're too far off on your angles or your heights, uh, it, the conveyor belt just won't do it for you. Uh, and we got to tell that now we are making iron rods, finally. And that will be fine there. 
So, next time we need iron rods, all we got to do is go there. Now, the last thing that we need to do is screws. And here's where things start to get a little bit more tricky. So, oh, actually, the other thing I want to check. Let's just look at this. So, we know that this is outputting 30 per minute. We know that that belt can handle 60 per minute. So, we can actually overclock this uh, to 60 per minute at one point. Uh, we don't have any way of doing that yet, but we will uh, fairly soon, actually. So this is uh, inputting 30 iron ore per minute, outputting 30 uh, iron ingots per minute. So that's all good. It's balanced. This, so we're outputting 30 iron ingots per minute here. We are only inputting 15 iron ingots per, uh, per minute here. Uh, which means eventually when we get splitters, which will come, we can put a splitter in here and we can actually make two of these and we can actually output double the amount of rods from the exact same input, which is really nice. Um, and balancing these things is always uh, an important thing to get done. But for right now, we're just going to... Get everything set up. Okay, so smelter, we've got enough for our smelter, but I don't think we're going to have enough for our... I'm going to actually put this reasonably close, closer than I would normally like, but... Um, and now I'm actually going to have to take another power... Oh, I did it again. Another power pole because we actually have to put in another... Oh, and we're not. Oh, and we're missing cable. Okay. So at least now we have the wire that we need. And the cable is going to have to come next. We also have to be pretty careful about, uh, let's go. I can make like 30 of these. We're going to be have to be pretty careful about... Um, our electricity too. So let's just go take a quick look at that. So our capacity right now is 70. Our max consumption is 57. So we're still okay. But we have to keep an eye on it. Uh, we're down to 144 out of 200 biomass. Uh, but we got a bunch left uh, in our uh, container there. So that's not a big, big deal. All right. So let's try this again. Now, did I make it to? No, I did not. Excellent. Okay, so now just like the other one, we're making iron ingots here, and then we're going to take those iron ingots and we're going to turn them into iron rods because iron rods are what we needed uh, in order to make screws, and screws are the next thing that we really, really need to start stockpiling. So, let's get our constructor, and we're missing iron plates. So we actually need four reinforced iron plates, which means that we need for reinforced iron for four reinforced iron plates. We need twenty-four iron plates and forty-eight screws. <laughs> In order to make the screws, we need the iron rods. Now the iron plates. We have. In fact, we've got 48 iron plates on us right now, so that's not a problem. But the screws we need. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to steal. Look at that. I don't have to make the iron rods anymore. I love not having to make these things. What I will do is turn that into, so I've got 12. I need 48. So, luckily, we get four per shot. I'm just going to make a few extra just to make sure. There we go. That's good enough. All right. Because we need to make now two constructors, and we're going to daisy chain these constructors. 
So let's go back up. Oops, what did I do? There we go. So Oh, I didn't make the <laughs> place I went over there. Okay, how many of you were screaming at your uh at your monitor saying, you didn't break the reinforced iron plates. I know I'm a moron sometimes, aren't I? All right, reinforced iron plates. We need four of those. So reinforced iron plates is another thing that we're going to have to make uh, soon, but I don't want to make them just yet because, like, like I keep telling you, this area is kind of temporary. And we do have, um, even before we get our splitters and, and uh, uh, mergers, we do have at least four more iron nodes around us, so we can actually make more uh, construction lines. But I don't want to do that just yet. I really want to start doing that on uh, a foundational grid so I can lay it out well. And our, finance, our found, uh, foundational grid is going to be out there in that abyss. I'm going to uh, I'm going to do it all out there. I'm going to start it up here, probably right around here, to be honest. Basically, I'll show you later. Uh, probably next episode, I'll I'll start that. I'm going to get this uh, finished up. So let's put our constructor. Uh, what way am I turning here? Okay. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to put this here like this, and then I'm actually going to turn this one so it's pointing that way. And then I will put a power pole. No, nope. keep doing that. I will put a power pole here. Hook it up to both this one and that one. Now. Uh, hopefully I didn't uh, screw this up too badly. Okay, good. So we're going to be making iron rods there. That's uh, 15 iron rods per minute we're making. And we're going to take that out of there and put it into this one. And we're going to be making screws out of that. And we only need 10 iron rods per minute. We're making 15, we only need 10. So this is another one that we've got an opportunity to balance as soon as we get splitters and uh, mergers. So we are now finally making our screws. And I am, for the, uh, for the people who are watching who are OCD, which to be honest I am kind of uh, OCD myself, um, I'm actually going to put this one in backwards. just simply so that the conveyor belts uh, work easier. I don't want to I don't have that really long, long conveyor belt uh, to go up and around to get it the right way. Uh, what am I missing? I'm missing iron plates. That's okay. Iron plates are just next door. Dun, dun, dun. And now you see uh, the advantage of stockpiling some of these things. So, now we've got one miner outputting 30 ore per minute, which is exactly what this needs to output 30 iron ingots per minute, which is double what this needs. So eventually we're going to double this so that we've got 30 per minute coming in and 30 per minute going out. This one only needs 10 per minute coming in, so we'll actually triple this. So out of two, we'll get 30, and I'll show you how to split it up so that uh, you get 10 and 10 and 10. Actually, to be honest, it's not really all that necessary to do that. Uh, it kind of self-balances um, as long as you uh, uh, flood it, essentially. But uh, it'll work. Um, and then that will output 40 
80, 120 screws per minute. So eventually we'll get that done. So that is where I think I'm going to stop it for today's episode. So we're still we're still getting everything set up here, but I think now uh, once I get uh, the cable plumbed in, so the cable's down there. Uh, once I get that down here and and put that together down here, we will have all of the building blocks that we need to actually start making our base. So, thanks for watching, and uh, next time, we'll be building a base. Bye, guys.